Das ist deine einzige Chance. Nimm das Angebot des Lord Marshals an und beuge dich. Ich beuge mich keinem Mann. Er ist kein Mann. Er ist der heilige Halbtote, der das Unterwurf gesehen hat. Hör zu, ich bin keiner von denen hier. Aber von dem da hätte ich gern ein Stück. Bitte, das kannst du haben. Chronicles of Riddick, a surprisingly watchable sci-fi action adventure movie. I would go through this entire film line by line to talk about the German translation is really that good, but that would take a couple of hours. So let's just zoom into one or two scenes in order to see what a fantastic job the German translation team did with this source material. In this scene, Riddick is being ordered to bow down to the evil Lord Marshal who has just conquered the entire planet. But Riddick refuses to kneel. The line in English is, I bow to no man, which technically could have two meanings in English. The first is that I literally bow down to no man, meaning that I will not get on my knees in front of someone who wants to rule over me. But there's another meaning to the verb bow here, which is more like to submit. An example might be, I bow to your judgment. I'm not literally bowing to you, I'm simply saying that your experience and your judgment in this matter are superior to mine, so I will allow you to make whatever decision we're talking about. I mention this double meaning here because the German translation is kind of interesting. Riddick answers, Ich beuge mich keinem Mann, which has more of the second meaning than the first here. Beugen literally means to bend, but it can be used both literally and figuratively, just like in English. Sich beugen can mean to bend forward or to bow down, but it also means to defer or to submit in a figurative sense. To bend the knee would be das Knie beugen. To bend the law would be das Recht beugen. To accept the inevitable would be sich dem unvermeidlichen beugen. You can also bow to the pressure, sich dem Druck beugen, or bow to someone's judgment, sich dem Spruch jemandes beugen. If the translators had wanted to make it clear that Riddick bows literally to no man, they could have used a similar verb, verbeugen. This looks and sounds similar to beugen, but it removes the figurative meaning and leaves only the literal one. Sich verbeugen means to literally bow, not figuratively. To bow down to someone would be sich vor jemandem verbeugen. So, Riddick's line here could have been ich verbeuge mich vor niemandem or ich verbeuge mich vor keinem Mann. But the translators chose ich beuge mich keinem Mann. Why? Well, translating a screenplay is more than just simply translating each line of dialogue. The translators try to line up the syllable count of the translated sentence so that the lip movements being out of sync won't be as jarring to the audience. Ich verbeuge mich vor niemandem is a longer sentence with very little phonetically in common with I bow to no man. But, ich beuge mich keinem Mann is closer in syllable count and it also ends with the word man, meaning that the lip movements actually sync up reasonably well here. So now, we start to appreciate the difficulties that translation teams face when translating a screenplay. Let's take a look at another snippet from later in this same scene after Riddick has killed Irgun. Spoiler alert. Irgun, einer meiner Besten. Na, wenn du das sagst? Du kommst mir bekannt vor. Sind wir uns auf einem fernen Schlachtfeld begegnet? Das hätte ich bestimmt nicht vergessen. Das würde ich wohl auch nicht. This entire scene is gold. I know it's over the top cheesy and macho, but it's the good kind of cheesy. Let's specifically look at one of the Lord Marshal's lines. Du kommst mir bekannt vor. This is using the separable verb vorkommen, which usually means to occur, to happen, or to come forward. But kommen mir bekannt vor is a common expression in German, which means familiar to me. Bekannt means known or famous. So saying, sie kommen mir bekannt vor, or du kommst mir bekannt vor, would mean you look familiar to me. Note that in the English version, the Lord Marshal asks this as a question. Are you familiar to me? Whereas in the German version, the translators decided to make it a statement. You look familiar to me. The translators, in fact, took a few liberties with this part of the scene to make the dialogue sound a little more formal than the English version. In English, Riddick answers with, You'd think I'd remember, which is pretty informal. And the Lord Marshal answers with, You'd think I would too, which is equally informal. The English version, in fact, sounds like a couple of guys who just met in a dive bar somewhere are getting ready to duke it out while the German version sounds more like two characters in a fantasy adventure setting, as well they should. I actually like the German version of this scene quite a bit more than the English version. 
There's something a bit more poetic and formal about Das hätte ich bestimmt nicht vergessen and Das würde ich wohl auch nicht. This is one of the surprises you might find when you watch something that's been translated to another language. Sometimes the translators don't just translate things literally. Sometimes they take a few liberties here and there to try to make the dialogue sound a bit better in the target language. And yes, they may have a hard time finding a German voice actor who can sound as cool as Vin Diesel, but hey, they try their best. And in the case of this film, I think they did it very, very well. I may revisit this film in future episodes because I really like the German translation of it, but I think that'll do for this episode. If you like sci-fi and you haven't seen this film, definitely check it out, and if you can, try to find the German version of it because it's really quite good. That's all for today, we will see you next time on Learn German from TV.